This is a short demonstration of how to use Notical, the new generative software from Intermorphic, to vary the tempo in Logic Pro. Using this technique with MIDI synchronization allows Notical to drive generative tempo changes in complex pieces while maintaining full synchronization with all other parts in a composition. And this is all done by using a MIDI control of a special fader in the Logic environment. For the purposes of this demonstration, I've set up Notical to play a fixed major C scale on a software instrument housed in Logic. I've also asked Notical to send out continuous controller number 22 on channel 16 following a slow LFO sine wave pattern. Notical is, of course, synchronized to Logic's clock. To enable Logic to use these controller messages to manage tempo, I need to add a special fader to the Logic environment. To do that, I go to New, Fader, Special, and there is the tempo fader that I need. By default, the tempo fader listens for pitch bend messages. I need to change that to listen for controllers. and then set the controller to 22. The listening channel's already been set to 16. This fader needs to be connected between the MIDI port inputs and the sequencer inputs in the environment, like so. If I now initiate a recording in Logic, Notical will start to play and you should hear the tempo variations and see the effects the incoming MIDI messages have on the transport controls in Logic. Thank you. 